Yo guys, what's up? This is the Flores Cast right now. We're episode two. We have Brock Fit here. I've met Brock Fit on TikTok. It's so crazy because Brock was on TikTok before I I started like being on TikTok before I made videos. So one of the reasons I got on TikTok was because of uh, Brock's videos. To be honest with you guys, I saw his videos and I saw him just talk about working out. Saw a bunch of trolls, trolls ass, and that was one of the things that kind of stopped me from wanting to be on TikTok, to be honest. But then, like, I saw your videos. One of the things is that, you know, I, was, I always felt like I wasn't big enough, stuff like that, which is, like, you know, some people think it's crazy. But I felt that way. But seeing you on TikTok kind of, like, made me think, like, you know what? Let me go you on TikTok. You're still the smaller guy, and you're like, I can do this. Yeah, a little bit, a little bit. You know what? <laughs> but, Bro- Brock, you, you were lean when I first saw you, like, on TikTok. Yeah, yeah. You were really yeah, lean. Yeah, so, um... Basically, the whole TikTok thing. I didn't know that you started it from me, by the way. Yeah, like uh, I started watching crazy, your videos. Bro. So I saw your videos. I will see Ben Dunn's videos, but uh, you, yeah, Alan, he was like the first person I saw. Yeah, you, Alan, and uh, Ben Dunn, and I was just like, you know what? This is before like fitness TikTok got really big, and yeah, uh, I hopped on the train, baby. <laughs> Man, that's crazy. Yeah, I had no idea because it all started like TikTok started for me was it was like lockdown, bro in my city so every day started to feel like groundhog day like i just started getting so bored with everything so um i started like uploading tiktoks and i was like fuck it there's nothing else to do you know so um i started doing that and i didn't think anything was going to happen from it and one day actually so i was was trying to get consistent with it i was like i might as well try something with this and see what happens right and um one one night i was just sitting at the computer And I was like, I should upload another video. I need to be consistent with this, right? (laughs) And a couple of days before, I was on the the bench press at home, right? And I got got the shittest set up, bro. It's I've ever seen it in the backyard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, (laughs) yeah. yeah. And it's it's like a a, a, a 5, 10 pound bar, uh, uh, 10, 15 pound bar or something. And, you know, when I set it up, and as I rack it, it always pinches my hands and shit. Mm -hmm. So I put that in the caption, you know, pinching your hands, it's annoying, rah, rah, rah. But as I uploaded the video... I didn't think it was going to get views, right? Because I was getting, like, maybe 80 to 100 views per video. Like, Mm -hmm. I didn't think anyone was going to see this, right? So, as I unrack the bar, I'm doing an incline, and it's it's uncomfortable as shit. Like, I'm going to snap my shit up as soon as I unrack it. And I'm like, oh, dude, so I have to, like, adjust myself, right? So, I'm on an incline, but I end up adjusting myself to, like, a flat position. Anyway, I upload this video. I didn't think much of it. Anyway, it goes viral. (laughs) Um, Because I don't... Nothing nothing gets views. How much views uh, do you remember? 500k views. Oh, that it is got about viral, two, yeah. It got about 250k in about 12 hours. But the thing was, my videos were literally getting like 100, 200 views. And then you just get this video, get all these views, right? So I'm not I'm not used to the negativity that's out there. You know what it's like, how yeah. negative people are out there. And this video is bad. Like, my form's horrendous, right? Because I had to adjust. And I'm not thinking it's going to get views. This is my first... This is, like, my first bit of content that actually got out there. And I'm not thinking it's going to get views. And my form's hor- atrocious, right? So I put my, fo- my phone down, upload it. I start playing Rainbow Six. About 15, <laughs> minutes, like, I, about 15 minutes later, I check my phone. And I got all these notifications. And I'm like, what the, what's this? And everyone's just roasting me in my video, dude. And I'm like, oh no, it had to be the video that's terrible. Anyway, that that uh, that was like the the thing that kind of started it for me and gave me that a little bit of motivation to that. Or oh, if I could make that get some views, I might be able to get more content. So um, yeah, I just started doing voiceovers with uh with fitness content mm-hmm. and that kind of yeah. That's where I remember it all started, I, man. I commented on one of your videos and you replied, and I was like, "Yo, he replied." <laughs> yeah, really. Yeah, people That's were talking. Crazy man, cause I, I didn't even I didn't even know these yeah. things. I was getting like, people were talking shit, and I was like, "Bro, you look good." Like, what the fuck? Like, yeah. <laughs> like people were like comparing you to like Michael Hearn, and like I don't know what people yeah, like yeah. compare us to, or like yeah, what type of people, people they're compare looking us at. To Olympians and things. I'm like, like dude, like, chill. Like, he yeah. looks great, in my opinion. Like, dude's working out of his house. It's <laughs> locked down. COVID happened. I, was, you know, I was looking at it like, damn, this guy's grinding. I still, yeah. when I was watching you, I still haven't gotten my equipment. So I'm in California. So we locked down. We yeah. locked down. I was working as a personal trainer. My gym closed. Everything closed. I had no equipment. I started just running. Like that was the thing I started doing. I started running for a couple months. Got skinny and small as fuck. Then. I got on TikTok around that, around like two months in running, and then I started seeing people weightlifting and stuff like that. Yeah. In the meantime, I ordered, I ordered weight equipment, but it still didn't get here. Especially, I'm not sure how it was in Australia, because Brock's from Australia. 
in California to buy like weight sets and equipment and things were overpriced. People just bought them out and yeah. I was on like off road Facebook market and I, things were like double the price of what they would be like at a retail store and it, it made no sense. It was like you would have to sell your you have to sell your ass or something get something, yeah. bro. <laughs> <laughs> and you were like, I'll do it. I'll do it. I was like, hey, bro, a couple of dumbbells. <laughs> Whatever <Shoot>. it takes. <laughs> hey, got to make some gains, but well, that's like what happened, bro, because it's like the market went up for it because mm -hmm. everybody was desperate Insane. to work out. Insane. There's nothing to like, do, man. I was like, damn, bro. There's, I've been, I'm pretty sure there's husbands out there like looking at their wives' jewelry. Like, I might have to like sell this <laughs> shit, you know? I need some yeah, dumbbells yeah, yeah. and weights. Well, I, I was lucky, bro, because my weight set that I was using, that I have, that's when I first started lifting weights with, when I was like 15, 16. Okay. So I just ne I never got rid of it type thing. So nice. I was fortunate nice, with that. Nice and rusted a little bit? Yeah, so rusted. The best. Bro, like... <laughs> I hadn't touched it for years and then lockdown happened and everyone was panicking and I'm like, I've got like a hundred kilos worth of weights. <laughs> I'm sweet. Like, but man, I got over the workouts at home so bad. Like the motivation was lost because I, bet. I was, I was doing a comp. I, that was the, like, like last year was the first time I stepped on stage in a men's physique show and I didn't come in, you know, in shape, I guess you could say I was probably like 15% body fat, but I just wanted to do a show, right? Mm. And after my first show, I was, yeah, was super motivated to do another one and just beat my previous physique, right? And maybe even try and place or something. And basically, lockdown ruined all that. Like, so my next comp was cancelled. Everything was cancelled. And I was I was in pretty good shape. And so it worked out with the whole TikTok uploads and things like that. But, your uh, back yeah, gets pretty lean. Of, if I remember the videos, yeah, I think, oh, your back gets nice and lean. I, I, I think I, that's like... Yeah, yeah. That's like my strongest muscle group, I'd, I'd say. But... Uh, so I'm currently prepping right now, bro. Like I'm prepping first prep ever for a show and I'm, I am feeling it right now. I'm about, I'm 17 days out now, 17 days out now. Thank God it's getting difficult. I'm not going to lie to you. I love candy. I love sweets. <laughs> I love it. So like when I started TikTok, here's the thing. So when I started TikTok, bro, I started gaining my muscle back. I was skinny as fuck. Because oh, yeah, like, you, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was just running, and uh, I'll put I'll put up a picture right here. You can see me, like uh, not right now, but when I upload this, you'll see how skinny I was. And like now, it's it's been a little bit over a year, and I've I didn't get I muscle memory is is real, you know. I oh, hundred percent, bro. 100%. I didn't just build new muscle. I've had the muscle. I definitely built on it because now I I started bodybuilding. I worked out, I worked out, but I've never tried to be a bodybuilder. That was the one thing, you know. I was like, a, yeah, you know, I was a, a gym bro. To be honest with you guys, a gym bro basically. My legs were small as fuck, upper body, chest. <laughs> you know, I did like back day, but honestly, I just like day once a fortnight. <laughs> one of the biggest things was that I had like, I always had a leg injury whenever I try hitting yeah. back. I mean, whenever, yeah. whenever I try doing squats or anything. I always suffer from lower back pain. Have you ever felt that? Before? Yeah, right. Yeah, dude. No, no, my lower back's cooked. That's uh, that's something that has held me back a lot. Cause I used to, I used to love training legs, dude. Like it was one of my favorite muscle groups to train. As much of a lie as that sounds, but um, when I was younger, I hurt my back back playing Aussie Rules. So that's a sport in Australia. Wait, and, what um, was it called? Aussie Rules. Aussie Rules. So it's just a contact sport with a with a football that you kick around and you tackle each other. Is that rugby? And no, it's it's different to rugby, but it's you still use like a football, like okay. they use type thing. Anyway, I just um, I hurt my back doing that when I was about fourteen, fifteen, and I never got it looked at or anything because I was just a kid. I was like, whatever, I'm fine. Ever since then, I've had like pain in my lower back, and I never really, gotcha. you know, yeah, worried about it until I started lifting weights, and that's when it started hurting. Any hip hinge type movements, so squatting, deadlifts, things like that, it irritates it. So over time, I just decided I, mean, I, I can't really do these movements as consistent as I want to. So that led me to actually skipping a lot of leg workouts. But I recently, I just got started getting back into it. So kind of just seeing a chiropractor, fixing all that up. But uh, you just got to work around things like that, right? You can't really, mm -hmm. I guess, make excuses for the rest Definitely. of your life. Yeah. So, uh, so that's like something I struggled with. When I, when I started hitting legs again, so my biggest problem was that, you know, I played football and sports and 
in uh, over here in the U.S., you know, a lot of the weight training coaches aren't really very knowledgeable. They're kind of like, yeah, good, it hurts. You know, keep going, keep going. And, like, your back, my back would get yeah. inflamed when I was squatting. I was like, yo, you know, like, I'm feeling like <laughs> like little sparklies or something like that on my lower back. I stop, bro. This ain't it. <laughs> yeah, it don't feel good. Keep going. You know, I would just squat, yeah. and I thought, I, was, I thought it was just a part of life. Your back's supposed to hurt, yeah. you know? It's supposed to get yeah. a little numb. And, well, uh, that's the thing too. Like people can't really, they don't know what you're going through. Mm-hmm. They just think like you may be making up excuses or things like that. It's like, no, I, I genuinely have an issue, dude. So one of the biggest things that I did to help my lower back issue is when I hit legs, see, when I hit legs, I take a, I don't take long breaks, but I definitely don't work out legs as in, as intensely as I do other muscle groups. The reason yeah. being so I need time to like catch my, uh, so when I squat, you need a brace. If I try to squat like very intense, high volume, I can't do it. My back starts. Yeah, to you can't up. just you can't yeah. just like be, you know, half assed with the warm up. You really have to focus and get as much blood pumping as possible before you start getting into your heavier sets. Mm-hmm. So that's why I don't like training legs with other people because exactly. we're at s- such different stages, bro. And <laughs> if I like, for example, if I trained with you with legs, I'd be like, man, it's gonna take me about five five warm ups, so like twenty minutes to get ready. I can't just like. Get right under the 100, uh, 220 pounds or something, you know? So, so you know, like that. you know, Jalen, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Bro, I, I did his Lives leg workout him. and it's like, it's like, I understand the concept of it and what he's doing, but the thing is that's not designed for me to do. Cause I used to yeah, train yeah. that way when I was younger and my bag fucking it's, you know, I learned my lesson. I'm 27 years old. Jalen's like 21, 22, right? You know, he's, he's a little bit younger. Yeah. And, uh, the way he trains with legs, I I did a leg day with him, and uh, this guy just goes and goes. He doesn't have a set rep count. He just goes to failure He's, all yeah. the time. And with legs, I cannot do that. I just, I can't yeah, go. You go to failure, like that little bit of form breakdown can just yep, that's form, it. Yep, over, game exactly. Over. Form. That's yeah, the I thing. get where you're coming from. I'm pretty sure you get people asking you questions like, you know, my back hurts when I do squats. You know, how do I fix it? A lot of my yeah. responses is like, you know, you might have to like slow it down a bit, you know, make sure you get your form right, your brace and other techniques and things like that. Yeah. Well, like what, like what I try and do is I keep my, my vault, like my rep range high, like nothing below like eight reps. Mm-hmm. If I'm doing like sets of three or sets of six, that's where the injuries can happen. Yeah. So I, you know, I try, I, you gotta leave your ego at the door when you're, when you, when you, you <laughs> fucked up like us, Definitely, <laughs> you, you can't risk bro. it, bro. Like, I was and trying that's, to that's explain a... to like Jalen. I was like, "Bro, like you're, I, I get the concept of it, but my back don't, it's not gonna work my like that." My back ain't bro. gonna do that, bro. Like, and when it when it goes, I don't know about you, but if my back goes, I can't do anything. I'm bed bound, like I'm done. And it takes like about a week for it to kind of feel fully heal and get back to normal. So I can't, I can't take those risks. It's not worth it. So you know, I guess it, that's just the way it is for some people. You know, I, have you ever experienced back pain so bad while you're driving, like it hurts and you yeah. have to like recline your seat back? Yeah, well, <laughs> this dude, I got um, what was I went to a, a foot doctor, and they'll they'll try. They they thought maybe my back was a bit out because of the way I was Plastic standing. Okay. Yeah, and they they put these soles in my feet, and after about two months of wearing them, I couldn't sit anymore. I was getting like extremely like oh, really shit. bad back pain. I got, like you're saying, like, I'll just be driving my car, bro, for like 10 minutes. And I'm like, I can't sit, bro. Like, this is fucked. What the Come fuck? On. I can't sit, man. I can't sit. I can't lie down. So I ended up taking those out and then it went away after about a week. So I thought to myself, yeah, that, that definitely like, I reckon it's just changed the way my body's supposed to sit, I guess. And my back didn't agree with that. So mm-hmm. yeah, it's, it's the worst, man. I'm gonna yeah. backtrack. I'm gonna go back to when, when that first viral video you made went out. Did you ever feel like, yeah. shit, like, damn, I have to delete it? Oh shit, you know, like. That's, you ever... Nah, that's a that's a thing with like social media, man. I'm, it took me a few, it took me a while to get to this mindset, but it was around about 2018 when I decided to just not give a fuck about. I want what I want to achieve has got nothing to do with you or anybody. You know what I mean? It's it's about me. Yes, yes. And I'm not, I, I don't care what you think someone else thinks whatever I'm going to do what I want to do type thing. That's the mindset. That's the mindset I adapted to. So I started like uploading things on Instagram that I'd never really want to do. And if anybody had something to say, I don't, I don't care. It's water off a duck's back. Like I just ignore it. It's one in one ear at the other. I don't care. Right. So when it comes to TikTok, I just, I almost find it funny. Like it's a joke to me. (laughs) 
if someone like bothers to comment on my stuff, it'd be like, oh, dude, you look you look shit. You've been working out for 15 years. You don't even lift, bro, and you're trying to make fitness content. I'm like, what? Why are you bothering telling me this? I don't give a fuck. Who are you? Like, do something with your life. Stop trying to be negative towards other people. And in it, the, way, the way that I think of it as well, if someone's going to bother being negative towards your content and what you're trying to do, it's, it reflects on them that obviously they're going through some shit and they're just trying to bring other people down to make themselves feel better, right? Mm-hmm. So when it comes to TikTok, no matter what I put up, I don't, I just don't care about the negativity. And I guess that's that's a, a reason why I've, I have grown a bit of a following on it. It's just definitely not caring. If I had that mindset, I wouldn't have grown a following. I wouldn't have, I wouldn't have put out content. You know, it got to the point where I was like. I'm giving I'm giving this everything, and if it backfires, you, you have I'm like still in cult the same spot. following, a legit cult following. <laughs> like, how do you deal I with the usernames? Brock fits left toe, Brock fit left nut sack, <laughs> hanging hanging two percent down. There's literally like there's literally hundreds of them, man. Brock fits mustache, Brock fits glasses, <laughs> Brock fits uh, uh, bald head. Brock fits butt cheeks. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's these, like these are all legitimate accounts, man. It's crazy. At first, I think I saw a video you posted once as a joke, and you were like, "Yeah, it's me." And I was like, "Wait, what?" Flores has made all these old accounts. I was like, "There's no way." So it's like, "There's so many, dude. It's they, insane." Like they blew up my comments. It, I was like, "Whoa, look at all these Brocks. All these Brocks are making me laugh." Brock fits broken glasses. Yeah, uh, I've had hilarious. a couple of them, like someone put like Flores fits right nostril, or, like little goofy things, yeah, or things uh, like that. It's, but it's nothing to your dude. level. You have like just, this legit, I... like kind of like a meme caught falling, which like they, I think it has like love a bit. You know, I feel like they. I'm yeah. not sure if they're trolling. No, I love it. Yeah, I don't. I don't hate it at all. I mm. love it. It's hilarious, man. Like I'll go on a video, I'll see a video just pop up on my FYP, and I'll look at the comment section, and then. I'll be in there. It'll say Brock Fit, but it's not me. It's like it's, it's just another account with like Brock Fit something something, and they're just they're just trolling, right? But the thing about it, the the thing about it is this: people attack me, as in like <laughs> if they get into an argument with someone in the comment section, it'll be like, bro, I wouldn't be talking shit when I look when you look like that, and, I, <laughs> and I'll, I'll I'll see this dude, and I'll be like. Hey, dude, what, what? I'm not even involved in this, and I'm just copying shade. Like, it, I, it, it cracks me up. It seriously cracks me up, dude. But, yeah, uh, I feel that. Yeah, I, it, it doesn't make sense. It's just so weird from 12 months ago, having literally nothing on social media, no following, Same. anything. Now, I'm not trying to say, like, I'm super famous or anything, but just having having that little bit of a following to the point where people make accounts about you and they joke around with you like that, it's... It's honestly a really cool feeling. Yeah. But at the same time, sometimes I don't know how to how to react to it. I'm like, that's really cool, but it's I don't know. Sometimes we get toxic, to too toxic. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. Like yeah. What they're saying, like I've been on, uh, I've had like uh, usernames. This is like when I got right on TikTok, and it took me a while to get used to like what TikTok was. Because to be honest, I was like, yo, I posted up this video of me for, like working out, or whatever. Then I was like, yo, look at this this girl commented on my on my video. Oh, look, this other girl. Because I'm going based off of the usernames and. I click yeah. on them. I'm like, bro, this is a fucking kid. This is yeah. a boy. This is a dude. They got me. They're like, they're, they're on the bio. Pictures. Yeah. On the bio, it's like, I made you look or something. I'm just like, yeah, damn. Yeah, yeah. These kids are no, savages. It's, it's crazy, bro. It's crazy. Yeah. It's, I think it's just the beginning for it as well. So it's in its early stages, man. So I'm really Definitely. excited to what happens in the future, you know? So I feel like, and that's another thing when it comes to Instagram being so difficult to grow on if you if you wanted to grow on instagram like two years ago like i was trying to do the algorithm's just not set for us you know nope. it's it's for creators that have already got a following type or thing, something you yeah know? yeah so uh tiktok was that was the key that was See, the ticket i feel like that's the thing we're all trying to do which we, we have a a pretty big tiktok following but we're trying to transition them to youtube or ig to yeah. to make it more of it because those platforms are really taken more seriously than tiktok because tiktok it's uh, i love tiktok and what is done but sometimes i can't express myself i made a video on it to my story talking about like it's like a it's, it's a hook video basically you got like a certain amount of yeah. time Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes the algorithm just loves the hell out of you and you're just doing amazing. Sometimes yeah. you're not on the For You page, your followers don't see you. And it's very it's very tricky sometimes. It's disheartening, it's frustrating. Because, you know, you look, at, you look at your following count and you're like, oh, how do I have like 150,000 followers? 
but I get like uh, my video will barely hit ten thousand followers in like a few mm. hours. It doesn't it, it doesn't make sense to me to you. You know what I mean? And it's that's the thing about TikTok. You don't want to rely on that as your sole social media setting. Like you don't want because TikTok can just be taken away from you. Yep, definitely. Like, like Shulk, man, his account always gets deleted just like that. And if you don't have a following on YouTube or Instagram, and you're just relying on TikTok, you fuck, you fuck. Just like that, bro. It's all over. So I try my best to to push everything over to Instagram, and I'm trying to get back into YouTube. But at the moment, I'm just focusing more on Instagram and TikTok. Mm. But uh, yeah, the the algorithm on TikTok can be absolutely insane, and it's it's set up this opportunity for both of us and for everybody, like a lot of the other fitness influencers. Without TikTok, you know, we wouldn't be in these be getting these opportunities definitely so uh, i'm really th- you know really thankful for tiktok but at the same time it's really inconsistent you, mm-hmm. you like you said your, your video will blow up or you have a a couple of weeks where your posts just aren't hitting the for you page if anything it feels like it's not even hitting your your followers following page you know what i mean mm-hmm. so it's just like sometimes your content just gets thrown into the dust and that's why it's good to have more more following on uh, other social media platforms Definitely. It kind of just helps set kind of a bar too. You start to see like TikTok people will, people will follow you, but like you never see them again. It feels like it. But then yeah. when they go to your yeah. IG, you get the connection. You get more of the connection with the different people. Exactly. I'm pretty sure you get a bunch of DMs. I get DMs and I'm pretty sure you as well, where you get people asking you things or just like complimenting you or just like, you know, telling you that they love your videos and things like that. Yeah. And I always, you know, I always try and respond to things like that. But at the same time, you know, it's not always possible to reply to every single DM you get. But it's you know it's good to show appreciation, but it it also gives you that um you know it, it lets you get closer to your followers Definitely. if you're engaging engaging with them on all these other platforms. Like I made a Discord and I try and chuck people into the Discord and we talk more on a personal level and everyone connects a lot more. And if you can develop that with your following, then they're gonna you know they're gonna take that journey with you and it's it's gonna help you you know grow in the future as well. Yeah. So if you know if you if you if you take your followers for granted and you don't really communicate with them, it's going to be hard to grow that following. And I think that's that's also a reason why I have I guess you said that that cult following. I try my best to engage with all my followers, and a lot of them have appreciated that, and I think that's that, that's helped me a lot. That's helped me a lot with um, my content as well. Yeah, definitely. That's the difference I see when I see big creators, really big creators that don't really engage with their followers. They, they get the likes and stuff, but they don't get the communication, they don't get the comments, they yeah. don't get the feedback and stuff like that. And it just feels like an empty community. Like, yeah. uh, I, like, uh, Pro, like Pro Revolution, I talked to him about it. Like, he he blew up so big. So big. You, are you familiar with Pro Revolution? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, his beef with you uh, work out with him sometimes. Yeah, yeah, him. Yeah, like he blew up so big. But one of the, I felt like I told him that it felt like I told him that I saw that he wasn't really interacting with his fan base so much. But because a lot of it was, you know, sometimes it gets toxic. But you gotta be able to navigate through that a little bit. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Well, like because t- because the algorithm's so bizarre, like insane. You get pushed out to such a wide variety of an audience that you're not even trying to target. And then you're going to get the negative impacts from the, those those people because they don't know what the hell you're doing. I, a lot of my content, a lot of my content, I'm just sarcastic, bro. And I, a lot of people don't understand that. So I love it. Like, I, <laughs> like, like, like that's how that's the, how the whole is that good thing started because some kid because you, you would have got this, bro. You would have got all these questions, I'm sure, where you get like 15 year olds comment on your TikTok and they're like, "Hey, Flores, I can bench press 220 pounds." I could pounds. get that. Yeah, yeah and then. And then you get to the point, though, where you get all those questions so frequently. Just why? Uh, one day, I was just like, fuck, bro. I'm, nah, I'm just going to joke around with this one. And the, some guy was like, oh, yeah, I'm 17. I've been pressed 80 kilos, which is like 180 pounds. And um, he's like, is that good? And I'm like, well, when I was 17, I was, I was benching, you know, 280 kilos for, for reps. So, no. And that's all I said. And, and bro, blows up. Inst- instantly though even my followers didn't actually understand it and they were just like dude who cares he's just trying to ask if that's good and you're you're, you're trying to brag how strong you are and then i get hit the F- fyp and i just get absolutely roasted by everybody and i'm like how can't you tell that i'm being sarcastic like who benches 270 kilos for like 15 reps when they're 17 years old like that's like world record material look at me like i can't bench that and uh that's how that all started and then a lot of people started to understand my sarcasm and then I just kept going with it and that's how all that kind of started. So, with your TikToks, I feel like you've been involved with a lot of, like, beef, like, on TikTok with different creators. Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what would you say is like? Uh, I, I think one of the biggest ones that you see all the time is like Natty or not some different people that get they get people like upset. There's obvious ones like Michael Hearn and things like that that are obviously yeah. like hilarious and funny. But what would you say is like the biggest fitness beef you've had like on TikTok? I guess that's kind of like translated to um, Instagram and other things. So that would have been with Tyler. I don't know his full name. Tyler Graham. Like that's yeah, his Tyler Instagram. Graham, yeah. Eight mode four twenty. Um, eight mode returns. Uh. Yeah, so basically, I get tagged in all these natty or not, like, is this guy natural, is this guy, whatever, and I always, people just like hearing it. I don't even, that, I think people like it because it's such so much drama, right? Mm-hmm. And I saw a, a video with Ape, I don't, I have nothing against Ape Mode, I, I'm sure he's a cool guy. And yeah, I, I, I like the guy, that, I like the guy, I talked to him actually. Yeah, I don't, I don't hate on him or anything, man, and I know for a fact he doesn't like me. And that's fine. I understand it, and I understand why he doesn't like me, right? Like it's fine. But I, you know, I saw a video of King Tolo. I think his name is. Oh yeah, King Nadia. Tolo. He's always making videos. That's yeah. where I. That's where I kind of jumped in. He did a Nadia not on him, and he was like, "Yeah, I don't think he's natural." And everyone was like, "He's natural. He's natural." And I was like, "No, I, mean, I don't think. I don't think so." So I, I made a joke video, and I just, you know, I just compared him to Mike Hearn, saying he's natural like Mike Hearn, blah, 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 just joking around. And Tyler didn't like that, and then he he made a stitch uh, a stitch of it, and and then that's kind of how that started. And like I said, I understand why Tyler was upset about it, but I mean, at the end of the day, it's just a natural or not. I I don't hate on anybody that's enhanced or isn't enhanced. We're all in it together, you know what yeah. I mean. But I think what annoys me personally is when someone's blatantly not natural, and they constantly claim natural. Things like that annoy me. That doesn't mean I don't like that person or anything like that. But that's that's the that's the sort of thing that I just don't like purely because I remember when I was fourteen, fifteen, getting into lifting weights, and I'd see someone's physique that they'd say they're natural, and I'd be like, okay, I might be able to look like that one day. And it gives you that false expectation of what you can actually achieve. And, and in in a way, it it can it can lead to people just giving up a lot earlier than they would have than they than they would like. You know, it just leads to people giving up, I guess, because they're not getting close to what they they think they can achieve. Yeah. So it just it leads to false expectations, and I'm just not a fan of that. But at the end of the day, it doesn't mean I don't like that person or anything like that. But I'm just, you know, it comes down to opinions. So that's just how that started, and then it kind of translated to Instagram. And I think I saw, and then Max Max, do you know Max Taylor? Oh yeah, no Max, Max yeah, Taylor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm friends with him. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think yeah, he he commented something negative towards one of my videos but i mean he was just sticking up for tyler so it all it all comes down to just silly things at the end of the day i'm sure if i met these people these people in person i'd be happy to you know chat to them and it'd be fine i can imagine it'd be fine you know but yeah it's it's just silly things at the end of the day natural or not but i mean i like doing them just because you know it gets views so i'm happy doing things like that but at the end of the day it doesn't mean i don't like that person yeah, definitely. I get you. I get you. I get you with that thing. See, I, I've had, I've had a lot of people say I'm not natural, which is crazy to me. But I can it's see what they're saying. Yeah, it's, I think it has a compliment, honestly. That's why I say I'm natural like all the time because I get compared with people that aren't natural, and like Michael Hearn, yeah. like blatantly people that are fucking superhuman. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, yeah. I'm saying like I'm natural. Like this is possible stuff like that. And you know, sometimes I think people like I think. You know, me and you are friends. I believe we're friends. I mean, we talk a lot. We've of course, dude, we've yeah. talked about a lot. Like I, I think uh, t- Tyler's natty, right? But that's fine. You know, we have disagreements. Yeah, like that. it doesn't that's mean fine. I'm gonna yeah. hate on you. I'm like, oh, yeah. you don't agree with you don't agree with me. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I don't care. Like, that's yeah, fine. like whatever. Yeah, we're all yeah, valid. Like, it's fine. Our opinions, yeah, man. definitely. See, that's that, that's the thing that I've. Uh, that I relate, I mean, I like about you because me and you can disagree about things, but we can straight up just be cool about it. Like, yeah, I don't, we, we yeah, disagree I about don't, it. I'm not gonna hate on shit. Hate I'm not on gonna say. I'm not. I'm mostly fine at night, anyways. I mean, it don't matter. Like, what, what <laughs> if we have a disagreement? Like, I, like I literally did a, a I literally did a natural or not TikTok video yesterday. I think it was, and Timmy Timidome, you know. Oh, Timmy. Yeah, yeah I talked to him. Yeah, yeah. Bit. He said, "Ah, oh, nah, he's natural, Brock." And it's like, "Ah, oh, that's cool." Like, <laughs> I'm not gonna start beef over it. Like, yeah. that's that's fine. You know, I I think a lot of people think. When I say something, it, it means that I'm I'm right. But I I don't think that. Like if I'm I'm not I don't know everything. When I'm wrong, I'm wrong. I don't I don't care. I think a lot of people get to the, they look too much into it and think it means everything. 
Mm-hmm. It's like, nah, I, I don't care about a lot of... Like, I'm pretty chill with a lot of things. I don't care if someone talks shit like, or whatever. Like, when people say I'm unnatural, which I get pe- a lot of people saying I'm unnatural and things like that, that... So I'm, I'm at the point where I kind of like it. I'm like, hey, thanks, yeah. bro. Like, that's just where I'm at. But a lot of it, you know, I'm older. I'm 27. It's like, you know, it's, it's like water off my back. Like, whatever, right? Yeah. And yeah. I'll, I'll blame you. Just say I'm natty, though. Like, I'm natty baby. Just, like, kind of, like, fucking around, trolling just, like, back. Just, in a bit. Because yeah, I yeah, am yeah. natty. It's, it's, it's so funny. Yeah, you got but nothing to hide about it. Yeah, mm-hmm. I get you. I, I take it as a compliment, honestly. Like, King Tolo, when he was saying I'm natural. I am natural. I'm great that he knows. But I'm like, look. There, there's a part of me like, fuck, he doesn't think I'm, I look crazy enough to be a natty. What the yeah, fuck, I get you know? It. Yeah, yeah, little, damn, I'm, dude. I'm like, God damn, bro, that's, okay. That's that's what I find funny, man, because I posted a photo the other day, because at the moment, I'm not as... Because a lot of my photos on Instagram that you see, I, I'm not confident posting, like, my current physique type thing, so I have a lot of throwbacks of, like, lower body fat percentage, so I'm, I'm fairly lean if you looked at all my Instagram photos. Mm-hmm. And just recently, I, I posted, like, a front, a front double buy... And I'm about probably 10, 15 kilos heavier than all my other photos. And I wasn't sure if it was jokes, but some people were like DMing me saying, oh, like it's Photoshopped or you started, you hopped on gear. And I'm like, are they joking? Like my physique is very, I'm not, I'm not, I don't want to try and bring other people down, but my physique is very average. So when people say things like that, it makes me think, well, if you think I'm not natural, have you seen people like Flores Fit or Alex Eubanks? Like, they're like, way better yeah. than me. Yeah. And you, some, and people say, like, you boys are natural. I'm like, how are you looking at me and thinking I'm not? And like, it blows my mind because I thought people were trolling. And then I'm like, no, nah, some of these people are being serious. And it's, uh, like, people don't understand how far you can actually take it, you know, like, naturally. Like, with me and my cup, bro, I, would you start thinking, like, I don't know, man, Flores, I don't know, he's he looking a little too veiny, would you would you start, like, to suspect a little bit? With you? Yeah. If you're, no, because, like, if I say that, say that one more time. Like, if you saw, like, now that you see me, right, I'm getting veinier, you see my videos where yeah. my ab core, my veins are popping out and things like that, I'm trying to get people that are my friends are kind of like, I don't know, like, he, Would I think that you're not natural? Yeah, we, would you think I'm not If I just on? randomly saw that for, like, the first time? Yeah. No, so, so when I judge someone if they're natural, the way I do it, I don't just, I don't just look at them not for just, a photo and be like, "Oh, that that doesn't look natural." That's that you're not natural. I, I look at the how you achieved that and what you went through to get to there, right? Yeah, you're and I already knew that you were you were dieting for like th- at least at least three months before you started getting getting to the shape it's you're in. It's so not crazy. now, but like yeah. Yeah. Like, even now, I've gotten people that are in the fitness community, they're like, yeah, bro, like, uh, like they're asking questions, so when you cut, did you just, like, drop a lot of calories right away? I'm like, no, like, I've been cutting for, like, 100 days now, bro. If I just... Yeah, exactly. Because people see, people just see what you're looking like, like, right now, right? Mm-hmm. And they're like, oh, you can't look like that naturally. It's like, you don't understand the process I went through to get to this. It didn't just happen in a couple of weeks. It took, like... Three, four, or five months. Yeah, it you, took you a know, long like time. if you if you look the way you are now in like less than a month, then I'd be, be like, weird. Oh, yeah, be I goofy. think my boys, I think my boy is on the dark side. <laughs> yeah, see, that's the thing. Like Jay, Jay's enhanced, openly enhanced, right? And yeah. I see his physique and my physique totally different. He's actually did a body recomp. He's the same. He's lost maybe five pounds, but he just put fucking muscle oh, on. Oh, really? That's crazy. He's a hundred and like ninety two hundred ninety five pounds, right? Yeah. And that was around my max and my bulk. The max he got in his bulk was about two hundred one around there, right? He's wow. literally okay. just packed fucking muscle. Like he's That's packed insane. muscle. Yeah. And people like I Jay, I love him, right? You know, he's competitive. He's competitive. He is a very competitive yeah. person. So when yeah. people compare him to me, he'd be like, "But Flores is thirty pounds lighter," which is true. I am thirty pounds lighter, but <laughs> I had to cut. Like I'm not. Even when I tell people that I'm natty, they're like, well, if you take gear, you don't know how you respond. I'm like, well, I'm assuming I'm going to respond well because it's Pretty fucking well, yeah. gear on gear. But yeah. <laughs> there are so many people like, I don't know, man. You might be a better bodybuilder without gear, you know? You probably just... Because the your genetics, like... Yeah. Yeah, you might, you, might hop on, you might hop on a cycle, but your body might reject a lot of it type thing and you might not look that different. You look might, better, but... But I might look better, too. Yeah, and you, or you could react like an absolute beast and go in insane. Bad dude. Yeah, you don't know it till you do it, right? Like yeah. I, I could, I could, I could yeah, hop on and look insane, 
or I could hop on and just look shit. Like, I'd be like, fuck. You, that's there's only one way to know. That's something to say about Arnold. He had a great physique, but they, everyone says, a lot of the people that are knowledgeable say that he had a great reaction to all the, all the gear he was yeah, on. Yeah, I saw a video of um, Derek did on... Yeah, Derek, yeah, yeah, he Derek said, did about it. Arnold has an average physique before he hopped on. It wasn't oh, anything crazy. Oh, and then when he hopped on, he just blew up type thing. That's so he, he, his genetics reacted to the gear like crazy. I'm not saying he had a terrible physique to begin with, but from what he was to what he'd become, it was just genetics. I'm not saying yeah. he didn't work hard, but his, his body responded insane. I, I feel like people don't understand either the difference between like muscle insertions. They play a big role. Like in the way that someone yeah. can look bigger and the illusions it gives, it, it yeah. can make and break someone where like... You may be, I may be actually bigger, right? But just because someone else has these better like, insertions, they yeah. look a lot better and they look they bigger. They a lot better, yeah. Yeah. It, it doesn't matter if I'm X. heavier on the scale, but if if they look bigger, they probably are bigger, you know, from most people's yeah, eyes. Yeah, yeah. That's why it's, it all comes down to genetics, man. And, and that's something that took me a little bit to process. I think when I realized 100%, I was like, I've... I'm not made for competing or anything like that. And I, I don't care. Like, I never got into this to get on stage and do things like that. But when I did my first men's physique show, I thought to myself, yeah, I don't I don't have any... I don't have the genetics to really go anywhere far with this. I can, mean, I compete. I could probably win a, a show or two, but I'm not going to take it to that next level. My, You know, my, my genetics aren't going to take me there. And, I, and like we were just saying, one, once you hop on gear, you won't know if your body responds to it well or not. And that's something that I've never really considered doing. So to, to do what I, you know, wanted to achieve naturally, it's not going to happen. So one, the sooner you realize the, the way the, the genetics work in bodybuilding, I think is, is, is better because it's, it's going to, that unrealistic expectation goes and you can kind of just sit with it. And I, I just like working out for fun and creating content. So the whole competing aspect for me, isn't really a goal. Mm -hmm. Got you. This, See, that, that's the thing I'm looking at too. I'm competing, but this has always just been like kind of a dream of mine to compete and stuff like that. Yeah. And the more I'm getting closer to dialing in and getting closer to competition day, I love that you know I'm I'm doing something that is challenging and tough, you know, physically and mentally. But you know when I when I when I think when I think about it, you know, I just don't want to be in, in you know, I I want, I want to look great in everything, but I just don't want to look someone. I don't want to look like someone who can't be related to that makes sense you know yeah i get yeah i get yeah. you, like you you're crazy. more focused on just having fun creating yeah. content working out keeping you know staying in shape still looking better than the average person but you, you don't care too much about taking it to that next ne that next step that's mm -hmm. what you mean right yeah I, i'm gonna take it as far as i can right now naturally like, i'm working out hard i'm i'm putting in three hours a day still like i'm going hard as hell brock but like yeah the more I go into this, is like, yeah, you know, like I'm realizing that even though all this is cool, I'm looking shredded and everything that I, I have more fun just doing stuff that, you know, I, I can't post as much because I'm tired a lot. You know, there's a lot yeah, of things that are coming out. Mentally. Mm -hmm. It's like, damn, bro. Like it, if I had a cameraman, stuff like that would be a lot easier. But yeah, yeah, definitely is uh, playing a bigger role when it comes to my creativity. Like. I'm doing, you know, it is helping though, I'm not going to lie, a lot of the work I'm doing now is to keep myself busy and occupied, because like right now, if, if I was him talking to you, I'd be like, just hungry, like damn, I got to yeah. eat and stuff you like that. Yeah, you about, you start thinking about food all the time, yeah. Mm -hmm. So I haven't, I've never been as lean as you are right now, so it's hard to relate, but um, that's the thing a lot of people don't see, is they want just because you look good, you don't understand what it's taking to look like this. It's not yeah, something you I get can it all the time, like bro. Mm -hmm. I, someone, someone would tell me, like, bro, how do you look like that? And this is something, so this would be like a gym store right here, bro. So I was at the gym and uh, I'm working out hard. I'm having a, uh, it's a, it's a tough day at the gym, right? I'm going hard, but I'm trying to, you know, push it, but I'm not getting the same pump results as I once was. It's just, yeah. It's getting tough, right? So I started at 194. And right, and uh, a couple of weeks ago, I got to about 195. So I've lost about 30 pounds, and that's a lot in the span. Even yeah. though it's been like 100 days, it's still a lot. Wait, sorry, what do you weigh? I w uh, at the time I was one, I was 165. 165. So I thought you said 195. Yeah, yeah. I started at 194, 195. And 160. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. okay, so yeah, I've okay. I've lost about 30, you know, 30 pounds or so, right? And it's been tough and. Uh, so I'm working out, right? Working out, doing chest, and uh, some some uh, another gym goer, gym goer goes up to me, starts talking to me, making small talk. 
especially now since I'm looking a little bit more dice at the gym, I'm noticing some people just come up and talk to me, right? Which yeah. is awesome. He doesn't know who I am or anything, but he's just coming up to yeah. talk to me. Because he's he just like, lame as shit. Yeah, basically. It's, I'm like, yo, what's up, bro? He's talking to me. Hey, man, uh, how, how do you look like that? And I was like, oh, dude, I've just been, it's it's very open statement. It's all, it's very it's hard broad. to explain in yeah. like one second. You can't just be like, I train hard and eat right. <laughs> well, that's what I do, but you don't understand. Like, that guy would say, that. fuck you. I do the same thing, but I don't look like you. That's, yeah. That's basically Steroids. what the guy told me. Like, I swear <laughs> yeah. to God, I was talking to him and I, and I told him, yeah, I've been training for about 10 years or so, you know, just like, you know, trying to tell him it's been a long process. He's like, yeah, me too, man, but I don't look like that though. Why not? He's and blaming he me. like, well, well, do you track literally every single calorie you consume on a daily basis? I started you know, that. Do you, yeah, then yeah. I looked at him, my, he's my height and he looked about like 190, you know, he looked like he enjoying his food. So <laughs> I, he's I told him. That surplus. I'm like, I'm cutting right now, man. My calories are low and everything. He's like, yeah, I have a coach too right now, dude. So, like, I, I'm I'm cutting too. I'm like, I'm... And then I look at him, I'm like, for how long? Because yeah. I've been doing it for about two months. I'm like... You, then then I'm, sure? like, I'm like, what, what weight did you start at? He's like, oh, I, I started at the same weight. I haven't really, like... I was like... Then I was like, what the... F-? Then, yeah. <laughs> then because of my cut, I'm starting to feel like he's fucking on me. I was like, is he fucking yeah, you're on like, me, you're bro? Mind, you, you're not understanding what's going on, yeah. <laughs> then I told him, I was like, I'm, I'm, I, I didn't talk to him like angry, but I was like, yeah, dude, I'm at a thousand six hundred calories. He's like, oh yeah, my coach has me around there too. And then I, I was just like, what the fuck? Then I was starting right. to get mad, bro. I was like, what the fuck's wrong with this guy? <laughs> Then he yeah, just, so obviously he either way, either I do everything you do. I do everything you do, bro. I, I was like, yeah, I started working out. I got to a point. I was like, yeah, dude, I started. I've been working out since I was like 15. Me too. I was like, then I'm looking at him. Then I'm like, what the fuck is he trying to say? Is he saying I'm on gear? Yeah. That's what it feels like he's trying to say or something, right? Yeah, yeah. Then I'm like, I'm tired. I'm like, yo, bro, you, you can work out with me right now. We we can catch a workout session and stuff. You know, we can we trick or train on me. He's like, oh no, I'm gonna do cardio. And I was like. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck? What just, what was this? I was like, what what's going on, bro? I'm like, what's going bro, yeah. on? <laughs> like, what's going on? Maybe because my cut, I'm getting a little bit more, more irritated. Agitated. Yeah. But I'm just confused. Like, this guy literally doesn't want to accept that the fact that I'm in a calorie deficit and I've been in it for a couple months. That's all I've been cutting. For. I've told him I was cutting for about three months and everything he kept saying was like, he was, he was hearing it, but wasn't listening. That's what it felt like. Yeah. Yeah, well, just... that's that's what's awkward sometimes too. When you just you, you're talking to somebody at the gym, you don't know them, and you, you don't want to come off aggressive, and they'll ask you questions, and they'll be, and then they'll tell you how they do things, but you know, you you know that what they're talking is wrong, but you you, you just don't know how to to tell them that they're wrong. So you kind of just like, oh yeah, yeah, you kind of agree with yeah, them. Yeah. And I, I feel like uh, that guy was definitely that situation, because you you. He, he, obviously, everything that he, he's saying is incorrect. Like, well, if you if you've been dieting and doing all this the same as me, how come you know you're not you're not losing weight and things like that? And it gets it gets awkward. He so looked, it's, it's just he visually looked ag- aggravated when he was talking to me. That's the problem. That's when I started getting a little angry. I was like, dude, this guy looks mad at me. Yeah, <laughs> I'm like, I'm gonna start getting mad back because I know well, he's not cutting like me. Like, it's it's just it's people ask me what do I eat? You know, how am I cutting so fast? They don't want to hear the truth. It's honestly. Eating less, having a high protein diet. I keep it very simplistic. Very they want to hear you simplistic. say like you, you're taking a, a supplement from the supplement shop that helped you do this. I'm, you know, that's it's the thing. Like, there's, it's there's no, it. no, it's not it. You know, they don't want, they don't want the truth. They want, uh, yeah, bro, I'm Easy drinking, I'm drinking cold water before I work out to burn more calories. There's and some I have, dumb a, shit I have like a hot that. shower after my workout. <laughs> yeah, then uh, I, I do I yoga. I order to the hot showers, bro. Like. Fasted cardio in the morning with black coffee. Like these or goofy the fucking sauna. hacks. I swear to God. Yeah. Like these That's why that stuff, tri- that stuff triggers me, man. Like mm-hmm. there's, no, there's literally no shortcut whether you take what? steroids or you don't. There's no shortcut. You've got to put in the work. Full mm-hmm. stop. And a lot of people don't understand that and they don't, they don't want to do that. And, that, and that's that's the funny thing because when all these people do try and do all these shortcuts, that at the end of the day, that shortcut turns out to be the long road because by the time they figure out what they have to do, they've wasted all this time trying to take a shortcut. Mm-hmm. But realistically, that shortcut's turned into a longer process. Like, so every, people just want the easy way out, and that's it. 
I get questions about test boosters. I'm trying to boost my natural test levels. It's like I'm like yeah. by kids. I'm like I'm pretty sure you're probably fine. Like these are these yeah. are thoughts or ideas that never came across my mind when I was their age. I would just be like, yeah, I, I never train of, harder. Yeah, I, f- even creatine. It's like I get so many questions about creatine. Like people are obsessed with it. It but works. Like, I, but I never. Shit. I, I, when I, I first, yeah, go on. Like it works, but be honest, it's not like I notice I get jacked. Like I yeah, it's not that. No. <laughs> I assume it works, right? And I'll take it, but I don't notice like a hey, yo, my biceps are an extra two inches because of creatine. No, mm. that's not. What I it noticed is. like because I just started taking creatine like six or seven days ago, right? And I think it was yesterday actually. Um, I was on. I was doing. I can't remember. I think it was a bench press, and I was I was repping out more on a specific yeah, weight than I yeah, normally would. And I, I didn't think much of it at the time. And then later on, I was like, oh, the creatine must be kicking in because I was smashing out my sets a lot easier. I was, I was, I, was, I started doing some more, more reps than I normally would. Creatine. And then I realized, oh, it's the creatine. And what confirmed it for me today was I had to go to the toilet before and yeah, bro, <laughs> that's as soon as creatine kicks into me, I, I just, I just start doing bad shits like that's just that's it reacts so bad to me and i always thought i always thought oh it's just it's uh it's you know it's fine it's not creatine but it took me a while to realize that my body doesn't react to creatine very well so i'm taking like four grams a day at the moment which is you know you want to take five grams a day that's what people take but f- my body just doesn't react to it very well so I, it's you know just because it's, 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 what I'm trying to say is, I guess, creatine is not going to be, it's not a game changer. You don't have to take it. If, if your body doesn't react to it, it it's fine. But for me, I, I get a lot of, di- I get a lot of diarrhea if I take creatine. And there's nothing weird about that. Like, a lot of people think I'm joking when I, when I, when I make TikToks about it, because I'm very sarcastic. But, uh, one of the side effects is it is, uh, you know, stomach issues. So if, if you get that, then it's okay, it's fine. Just don't worry about creatine. It, it's not a game changer. You're going to get a few more reps on a, a bench press than you normally would. That's it. You're not going to oh, turn right. into some super, you're not going to go super sane. You know what I mean? Yeah. See, that's the biggest thing. You know, I made jokes about creatine too. Like, oh, I took creatine. Look what happened. Like, because pe- I get yeah. so many questions like, oh, it must be because it's on creatine. Even like my older brother was like, oh, you're on creatine. You're not, he, he thought it wasn't natural, which some kids think it's not natural, which yeah, creatine is found in food. Think, it's found in food. Yeah steak you know stuff like that it's on in food they just you know just like everything else they isolate the creatine monohydrate and they put it in the in the can or whatever right yeah well the thing if to get i think if you need to get the, the correct amount of creatine from food yeah yeah like i think and i think too when like you you cook like a steak or something i, th- I think i could be wrong on this but when you cook it, it it takes some of that the creatine out i don't know if if, if that's I'm correct right. or incorrect Not too sure but it so it, it, it's best if you want to get more creatine, eat it raw. And obviously you're not going to eat raw steak. Like you want to cook it, you know? So that's why the, the supplements are out there. But yeah. See, when I started working out, I ate like shit. All I did was work out hard. I was eating chocolate chips, cookies, Skittles, and just fries, all Cheetos. And I can eat that way and be shredded. I just got to make sure I eat not a lot and just count my calories. That's something yeah, yeah. I make did sure for so long. That maintenance. Mm-hmm. I, I, I would be shredded. I have pictures of me being shredded, just eating bags of chips and d- drinking soda and stuff like that. Like I wouldn't yeah. be. I'm definitely haven't put on like the mask now that I have. Right, the mask now yeah. is a lot more. I was looking jacked, bro. Jeez. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. Th- now this Look is at from. That. Now, <laughs> now this is from eating good and creating. Natty, you're not Flores fit. <laughs> You'd be like That's fucking insane, poison, Natty. Dude, I've been training so hard, Brock. Like so hard, it's been intense, yeah, man. Yeah, no doubt. And, and a lot of it's been it, testing me. I'm not gonna lie. Like, because you were saying you're getting like, what was it sore joints? Sore joints. Like my knees right now are swollen, dude. Like I did yeah, cardio gee. and my knees hurt, and it's That's, a lot. Of- that reminds me. Sorry, like the last time I not not last year, but the cut before last year. I started getting really, really sore knees and that that's when I was at my leanest. I don't know what my body fat was, but I'd say I was hovering around 10%, but I've, I've never felt it before for that specific cut. I got really, really sore knees to the point where I had to skip legs because my knees were just in agony. And is that, is that what you're feeling now, right? Yeah. Uh, I, it's, it's so weird. 
So right is it now, body fat percentage is that why is that what happens? Like what is? I'm it? pretty positive from body fat percentage. I'm pretty low right now. I've yeah. been low for a minute, and uh, any like high, it's not even not doing high impact. Like, well, I guess high impact when I squat or doing things, doing things. Just even like, getting on a stairmaster. Yeah, I can't get on a stairmaster right. today. My knees hurt too much, so I was on a bicycle basically. Yeah. Uh, I was I like, through... holy shit, dude, it's bothering the fuck out of me. And, like, a lot of it can get very stressful where I'm like, I can't get the calories. You know, as much as I said that, I, you know, I feel like, um, you know, I'm I'm training as hard as I can. I'm putting a lot of pressure on myself to do the best yeah. I can. I'm competing against myself. And uh, yeah. even though I said that, you know, I want to do more than just being on front of a stage and flex, I'm giving it everything I have. And, and social like, media-wise as well. Yeah, you know, even social media-wise, it's, it's, uh, it's crazy that... Uh, I've gotten leaner, and I'm noticing my numbers are growing a lot more with my with all my yeah, uh, social media platforms. Yeah, unfortunately, that's how it is. I yeah, guess. it's crazy because not even I'm thinking about like, damn, dude. When, once I once I once I finish the show and I start bulking up a little bit, I'm gonna like lose like a couple of the following. But that's when you have to show yourself your personality, who you yeah. are. You know, you just can't that's be a what pretty I try face. To come out with. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you just can't be a pretty face and stuff like that because body and all that stuff it, it starts to fade after a while unless you know mm. you know you're michael tran or michael hearn you know <laughs> looking jack well, that's like shit. something i i kind of try to transition with with my content when um all, i like relatability start, you have you have mm. uh you're you know being more relatable to a certain audience because honestly when i've noticed people that are very successful it's not yes great physiques are amazing and things like that some people can do it like that but people that are more relatable to their audience tend to do a lot better than just a great physique, if that makes sense, yeah, more well, in the social media aspect. Well, once I started gaining a bit of body, because I took like three months off from working out, um, from like November to just, to late January, and I just, I lost, because I, I went so hard throughout that year because I wanted to, to do a comp, well, I, would, I did one, but I wanted to do more, and I, I prepared my body for like, from like literally January 1st, 2020, all the way to like August 2020. I was literally tracking every single calorie I consumed. I was doing cardio. I was working out like six, seven days a week. All I, I put everything into gym, right? And then I started uploading content to TikTok. And at the, I had so much in the bank for content. I could have just posted for days while not even looking like that anymore. Do you know what I mean? And I got to the point where I was just so drained from working out. I just, I just had to take some time off from the gym. Mm-hmm. I, I just didn't have that, that drive anymore. So I took a few months off gym and, and at the same time, my diet went to shit. I gained body fat. No, I wasn't like ridiculously out of shape, but I wasn't confident to post my physique online. So I just, you know, and this is when I was simultaneously growing as well. And I didn't realize the position I was putting myself in. I was like, dude, you've got a bit of a following. People want to see you work out. People want to see your physique. And I'm like, I fucking, I I lost it. (laughs) It's gone. I can't, I can't just get it back in two seconds. It takes time. It does take time. And that's what I mean. I'm in even the when you're there, going, you're like tired. You don't, you like, don't, and shit. when you are there too, you don't feel like you're there because it's all a mental game. I feel like especially but, as a natural, I'm not sure. I've never been on gear and shredded and dice, but all I know is how I feel when I'm... I, all I know is how I feel as a natural being this lean. And it's not that fun. It's It sucks. No, and today, rated. I had to like look in the mirror and be like, tell myself, you know, people actually want to look like me. People want to be, people want to look like the physique I have right now. So I might as yeah, well relish it as I have right now because mm. there's some days I'm just like, fuck this, dude. I just want to make as much you. content as you can while you're looking like that. You know what I mean? Yeah. You no, know, to be honest, a lot of the content I've been trying to focus on is a lot of things that's not really. So I'm, I'm documenting me prepping, but a lot of it isn't that much workout footage. It's just me just talking a lot in front Talk of the camera. To the camera. I was watching one of your videos today and it was. Yeah, you're just talking in, in your car for like five, ten minutes mm-hmm. about the process and everything like that. And it's good because it's relatable. You can explain what's going on. Like if I had a camera person, it would be perfect, but I don't have a camera person. And and recording and trying to like do everything and like while we're trying to get an intense workout. It's tough. It is tough. It is very yeah. tough. And and someone told me to say that they wanted me to put up my uh, a certain workout routine. I'm like, I'm going to try, but it's very tough, especially for my own camera person. And like when you're cutting, so here's the thing, you know, I just know how I feel as a natural and uh, you do get, you know, sometimes I'm low, sometimes I'm high with my emotions. Like, you know, I can alter, yeah. I, not that I'm angry or anything like that. It's just like, sometimes I'm just drained. Sometimes I'm a little bit peppy. You don't have, your patience isn't there. Mm-hmm. It's you very weird. Shit. <laughs> mm-hmm. It's crazy. It's crazy. Cause I've been lean, but I've never been, so here's the thing. I've never been this lean with this much muscle mass. 
and it yeah. takes a lot to try to preserve it. It takes a lot. And I even like today I was talking to Jay, and Jay Jay was like, "You're at one thousand three hundred calories." I'm like, That's "Yeah, crazy, dude." Bro. I'm at low calories right now, and I can't drop weight anymore. Like, I'm pretty. I'm, it feels like I'm stuck here. You plateaued. Tough it feels thing. like yeah. It feels like I plateaued a bit, and I'm like. The thing Holy. is, though, you are looking insane. Thanks, so you, brother. You know, you've Thanks. got that going for you. Even talking it's to you like... right now, I'm like, "Holy shit!" It's starting to get to me a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> it's like I started that, a little thing, bit closer. Man, like you, you are looking insane. It's not like oh, you're, you're a few weeks behind. Like you're Thank on track. You. Appreciate you're, you. You're gonna look. You're gonna absolutely destroy at, at your comp, like. Bro, like, like yeah, you don't. Want. The, one of the biggest things is that I've been thinking is making sure that I don't just balloon back up. That's something I don't want to happen. Yeah, and that's the that's the thing that a lot of people don't understand because when you get as lean as you are, like you're 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 just hungry, and it's so hard to maintain to to maintain that. And if if it just takes a few extra cal- hundred calories uh, a day for you to blow up with body fat, so a reverse diet is a lot harder than people realize. Because your mindset is just food, 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 but you, you want to slowly gain the weight back. But it, it, as soon as you eat something that's a little tasty, you just, you can't stop, bro. You'll be, you could eat, you could literally, you could just, you should do a, eat, a eating competition somewhere because you am. won't lose, bro. <laughs> you won't lose. Me, you me can, and Jay you put away 10, 15K. Easy, See, that's you the thing. Away 10, 15K. I'm bringing Jay up a lot, but it's like he's at 2,000 something calories, right? These are at the same s- spot right now. You know, he's doing the same comp, aren't you? Uh, we're doing the same competition, yeah, but different weight because he's taller and stuff like that. But basically, yeah, yeah. you know, I don't have any, like, people, a lot of my followers are like, bro, you're going to take the competition, you're going to sweep it. But, you know, I don't think they realize that I'm going up against, like, legit, like, you know, fucking gearheads. Like, yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> like I- I'm doing this for myself. Either way, compete. man, yeah, you're insane. Like, so many people look up to you, and even myself. Like, the first time I ever seen you on TikTok, someone tagged me in your comment, uh, in one of your videos, and I looked at your content, and I was like, fuck. I was motivated, bro. I was like, damn, Thank I, I want to get in the gym. I want to look like <laughs> this guy. Like, I couldn't help myself. I was like, shit, man, this guy's crazy good physique. Because I kept looking through your videos, and I was jealous. I was like, fuck, <laughs> I want to look like this you guy. Know, you know what's crazy, then, bro? Oh, go ahead. I was, no, that's when I, that's, that's pretty much when I started following you. Yeah, yeah. Hey, it's crazy. Uh, see, we're, we're right now I'm trying to get, uh, I had uh, I had someone reach out to me. Another, I'm not going to say who, but a TikToker, more followers than me, right? Still has more followers than me. And uh, he told me that, he's like, hey, man, he messaged me, hey, bro, uh, I just want to tell you that I blocked you because a while ago because I didn't like that you were doing well. I didn't like it. Yeah, that's he insane. saw my content, so he just didn't like it, and so he blocked me. And uh, that's such a weird I didn't, thing to say to someone. <laughs> I, I didn't take it personal. I just took it like maybe he was in the bad place, and mm, you know, yeah. like just a bad place. And I was like, yeah, that's fine, man. You know, we all have our uh, our moments in like different areas we're at in our like mindset or different areas we're at in life. And uh, it just made me think that it's weird how uh, like now like that that guy's like always commenting. Like I'm not sure if he's being fake or not, but he's always commenting on my videos and like you know just like. You know, showing love, defending me a little yeah. bit, like he's natural. But you know, even he admitted it. it took him a while to kind of like not be jealous, and it happens to yeah. all of us. And that's what I'm going with competing. I'm competing against myself. I'm, you know, a lot of times when you try to compete with other people, you get jealous, you bitter. Get, you get bitter. You, you get yeah. if anything unmotivated, then you get you start hating, and you, you don't want to be like that. But it's like yeah, it's especially just, when it comes like bodybuilding. It's like, you yeah. know, it's like when you start, if I started comparing myself to like Michael Hearn and all these people and like all the, like, it's just like, it's like, not that I don't do it, but sometimes, you know, I would do it like, like, especially right now competing as I'm getting closer to competition. I'm like, dude, I, I don't feel big enough. I don't feel, yeah. you know, there's a lot of these things that are natural, you know, it's going to happen because you're competing. Mm-hmm. And right now, all I'm doing is trying to maintain, maintain right now for the next 17 days. And that it, it's. You know, I always think about it outside perspective. Like, this isn't the hardest thing in the world. There's people out there with, like, don't, don't have limbs and wish they can do yeah. what I was doing. And that really helps me stay humble. It's got to like, put it in perspective. Yeah, it's perspective, you know. Even, like, uh, I, my nephew had a party and, like, I was – I went. I didn't want to go because of, like, all the tasty food that was going to be there. But I started yeah. going. And <laughs> it was good for me just to be That's out there. That's why it's good to, in, the, in those situations just to – Eat all your, if if it's at night time, just eat all your calories. So when you get there, you, mm-hmm. you got no calories to eat. Just 
don't touch anything. You don't have to worry about hitting your macro, your calories later. It's all done. Just enjoy yourself and just don't touch any food. It's crazy with this prep, trying to make sure that I'm staying dialed in. Because honestly, like, when... Not that I want to give up my prep, but, you know, sometimes I'm like, bro, my calories are so low. And I start to get, like, you know, your, your ups and downs come a little bit if your calories being so low. Especially you when you're... Eat and throw it mm -hmm. all away. Just want to eat and just be chilled out a little bit, especially with these mm. calories are retarded low. I mean, they're <laughs> just ridiculously low, bro. But like, yeah, you wouldn't. You, you. I don't know how you're even thinking, bro. I don't even know how you're doing a podcast. Are you, you're doing all this content at such a a low uh, body fat percentage. Yeah, uh, you be closing uh, in on six, you reckon? Uh, I'm trying to get to six. That's gonna be the hard part. You know, at what, the end what, of the day, bro, it's it's it doesn't matter. Like you, you look good. You're gonna do well. Like you're not gonna get on stage, and you're gonna. It's not like you're gonna get blown out of the park. If anything, you'll probably blow. The, <laughs> let me just we'll see. reword that. You wanna blow? <laughs> you're gonna. <laughs> you're gonna. You're gonna do well, man. But uh, six. Either either way, if you hit six percent or you're not six percent, I don't don't dwell on those things. Like it's it's like a a, t a tiny little. It's body fat. Like you look yeah. lean. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's not like you're out of shape. You're not gonna get up there. And you're not gonna. You're not gonna. Be nowhere near the competition. You know what I mean. Your body fat is insane. Like to just have striations all over your core, and you, you're doing Dude, it right. You know, when, when I was next to Tristan Lee, I started. I was like, okay, then now I now I know where I'm at because I have always seen him. Yeah, he's lean, but I noticed that upper body wise, I was a lot leaner than him. A lot of yeah, it could well, be genetics, just the way like my veins pop out when I flex and well, stuff like that. It's it's how everyone's body fat distributes. Like mm -hmm. for me, dude. Like if I just took like a upper body pick didn't show my legs and you know especially from the back my back leans up before, really really well like is I, I can get a christmas tree look really lean right upper body's looking like you could probably even say like eight percent body fat i look but as soon as i reveal my legs they just they store all this body fat bro and it it, it, it brings the body fat up to like 13 12 13 percent but if you just see my upper body you'd think oh this guy's absolutely peeled he could step on stage and it's just like no I, I store so much body fat in my glutes, hamstrings, quads, calves. It's 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 really cool for like a beach body, but when it comes to bodybuilding, yeah, I have to get if I if I've got like straight like if I've got definition in my quads, then I'm, I'm getting pretty lean for me personally. But uh, like 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 what you just said, man. Like bro, every, my yeah, quads are like body the, last, fat's different. the last. They're they're starting to get striated, but they're they're like the last to go. My they what sorry? My quads, like the 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 body fat, I carry a lot of body fat on my quads. Yeah, yeah. Like my glutes, still I'll show you my ass, but I don't think it works. Yet. <laughs> not not a not, let, not let's, for this let's send this on a funny note. So, <laughs> what do you think about Chris uh, Chris Hemsworth? Do you think he's natural? No. You think no. Chris Hemsworth is natural? Thor? No, you I don't think anybody Aussie? in the field. I don't think anybody at that at that level of fame. If they're doing something for a movie or do you think because his physique is just like athletes like yeah that's all i say i mean if i was him I'll, I'll, why not take gear? you're making so much money what the fuck yeah i just i'm not it's and if, this is the most common thing i get from people is what the rock oh, rock just because he has a better physique than you doesn't mean he's you know i think i think chris Hemsworth's on gear but not just because i don't think he has a he has he definitely has an amazing physique but i do think mm. his physique is achievable but it's going to take a lot of effort to maintain that type of physique or get yeah. to that level why why would you put that much effort when you're just an actor right it just it doesn't yeah. make no sense exactly like you're not going to do a full bodybuilding comp prep to do a movie it's just like you, you see his pictures right what, what, what did you think about his legs i saw that was that photoshopped or is that legit I think it's legit. Those are his That's, legs. Those are his arms. Makes me feel better about myself. So I'm not the only one out there. But, <laughs> but uh, I don't know. I mean, yeah, it's uh, you need to balance that shit out. Eh? But I mean, look, he he could have his a arms are he, he could have huge. a he could have a bad back dude and has to skip legs. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, I mean, he's still a handsome fella. What is he like six yeah, nine, he's, what is he like six two or something? Yeah, he's a tall. Is, is, is he? Is there a twin or is it just him? He has a brother. Yeah, are they twins? No, they're not twins. They do look oh, alike. Yeah. I thought maybe they were twins. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know too much about them. But um, either way, man, impressive physiques. You've got to. You can't deny anybody's work ethic, no matter natural or not. It's just the way you got to look at it. And I bet a lot of people get offended with it. But you know, it is what it is. <clears throat> For sure. All right, guys, we're gonna end it off here. Pleasure talking to you, Brock. I'm just gonna stop the po the recording awesome, right bro. now. We're still gonna be here. But much love, guys. Is there anything you want to say, Brock? 
Uh, this was my first podcast, so I'm happy to have done it with Flores. It was awesome. Hey. I'm, you know, I'm, I'm stoked you asked me to, to do it, man. Like, it meant a lot when you asked me, so I really appreciate it, man. I had a good time. I, def- I definitely loved it, man. I feel like we, uh, we got more on the kind of, like, fitness tangent. I do want to talk about just more normal stuff, to be honest. Like, what yeah. do you like doing? You know, kick the shit a little bit. Oh, we can always do other podcasts, man. Yeah, like, yeah definitely. Down. We did talk about a lot of fitness things today. Let, let us know what you guys will want us to talk about. Definitely we'll like Brock back. We can talk about anything. Uh, I'm not sure Brock's a big anime guy. I'm not sure if you guys caught this a little bit. You know, my anime, anime shirt a little bit. Only anime, I don't even know. Dragon Ball Z and Yu-Gi-Oh! was the only anime type <laughs> stuff I watched when I was growing up. But uh, I, I don't know if that's at your type of anime level. <laughs> uh, nah, I'm, I'm uh, very in-depth on it. All right, guys, yeah, we ca- yeah. we'll catch you guys there. We're going to end up right here. All right, stop the recording. All right, Brock.